a hundred likes will get me. Oh, that's it. That. <laughs>to go see an 886 that we might we I don't know guys I'm kind of feeling like shaking up life I want something new and I don't want to like my heart doesn't want to like, I know I'll be sad without a doubt but um I might get rid of the s14 this a86 is literally has my old parts on it like from my last one and um, I know the guy very well. I was joking around saying I would trade because if originally I wanted to trade the S13 for it, which would be great because then I don't lose my baby. But I don't know. I just kind of feeling like life kind of goes in circles sometimes, and I think I kind of like I don't mind. Hold, hold on, I'm switching. Um, I don't mind the fact of trying something new and getting into a new project, like all around new project, like getting rid of. The S3, S, I've done everything with the S14. I've, you know, I've been everywhere with it. I've had great memories, and um, I know nothing, nothing ever lasts forever. And it's just life is just a constant cycle of new experiences and and different emotions, and just like, I feel like it's just one big cycle of up and ups and downs and roundabouts that. Um, regardless on the, the decisions you make, everything is always going to be what's supposed to happen. So I'm going over there. Today. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so deep. I just love A86s, and I'm getting like I'm back tattooing, and like I don't know. I feel like life's just revolving. It's one big revolving door. Um, and I I don't know. I just feel freaking pumped about it. Uh, literally like the rear bumper it's a JDM rear bumper I originally bought that and uh, it never got on my car but uh, my buddy Julian snagged it for me that in the front bumper and um, I don't know maybe it's time to sh shake, shake things up as a 20 valve in it it's been drifting he's, had, he's having tune issues which is okay um, because that's the S14 isn't in like immaculate shape but I think it's an even deal it has a cage even though I don't really want a cage like, I'd rather it be like all interior than it be stripped out and caged but I don't know we'll see we'll see what life brings us either way kind of excited we'll see what um it's definitely me like that's that's at, at, at my core I'm an 886 dude I just haven't had the opportunity to have one in so long and um I'm just ready to to do it you know just give life my best shot and do exactly what I want in every opportunity in any aspect do exactly what I want if I want to make a video I'm gonna make a video if I want to freaking trade cars I'm gonna trade cars I feel like that's what I mean I used to do it all the time and you can't be scared to make mistakes because that's when um, doing nothing it could be the biggest mistake was that a bar <laughs> Twenty foul banger. Bow, bow, bow. Do I or don't I? Nobody knows if I should. You ready? Yeah. Is it just on full throttle it gets flat wonky? No, if you go much, I'll show you. Like, if you rev it slow. Good? Yeah. He doesn't like it just this, cuts. He doesn't like the, the Bronx. Huh. That's just uh, Excel enrichment. Basically, if you slowly give it gas, the ECU can just like figure itself out. But if you just like mash it, yeah. it does. Uh, doesn't know that you need to give it a lot more fuel because like it goes from nothing to everything all at once. <laughs> That's nutty.
sounds really good. Alrighty guys, so what do you think? I know I just jumped back home, but um, I'm a little conf I don't know what I want to do. Um, that's my homie, Julian. Uh, actually, that car's headlights is from my first 886, so it has parts from my first one and my second one. And um, I'm kind of in the middle of life. In the middle of life, I don't know what I actually want to do, but um, I'm kind of leaning towards like just keeping my S14. I feel like I just have way too much, like my S14 is too clean and too sound. Granted, it's not running right now, but it's just like a switch. And like it's too, I don't know, it's just too me. I've had too many memories with it. It's so hard. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have a lot of work to do tonight. So I'm going to get going with the geek guy. You heard it. So I know. I literally said I want to keep my S14 just maybe two clips ago, but I've been thinking it's another day I still thought about it and Julian's coming over and um, He's gonna check out the S14 and It's like I said earlier sometimes you got to let go I should keep it the boo bears Sometimes you just gotta let go to make it like move forward in life. And though this car is freaking sweet, to me it's like how much more can I do with it? Granted, I can make a bigger, bigger motor, bigger turbo, everything in between. But I think I, I've made over 600 videos with this car, and I think it's it's time for a new chapter. As much as it hurts my damn soul, I don't know. I just. I think it's time, man. It's gonna hurt like a, like crazy. But this is, uh, we've had some good memories and also I told uh, my homie Julian, he's on his way here, but I told him that, uh, cause I told him I was like, if I get this running, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna wanna keep it. It drives way too good to keep, to even think about getting rid of it. And he was like, I talked to my buddy, he can tow it. I'm like, your best bet to get this deal done is to tow this out. Don't let me hear it running. Even if you fix it, and we're good, because that's 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 what it's gonna come down to. It's my baby. I love it. I know. You know what sucks? I was talking to Monica, and I was like, I know damn well, no matter what decision I make, I'm always going to be missing these cars. Like no, oh, this is kind of. I need a little taller. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Oh, all right. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be, I'm gonna get rid of this and then I'm gonna complain about it and hate my new car and say I should have kept it, I should have somehow figured it out. I feel a little nostalgic because the first, the A86 that I possibly could be trading for literally has parts on it from when I first uh, was, was tattooing and when I first had Le Lena, like the very, very first, uh, like there's a picture of Monica in front of, um, my first A86 and those headlight covers are on this car. Oh, geez. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing running or even close to running. And if I do, I'm keeping you feeling. Right. Let's get this show on the freaking road. Why? Why do I wanna do this to myself? It makes zero sense. It doesn't make sense. The car is perfect. I'm training it for a freaking beat up A86. It's not beat up, it's okay. It's just freaking. Don't mind me, all right? Literally don't mind me. I'm confused, I've done this a thousand times. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I, the thing is, I still have my S13. So it's not like I don't have two forties, and I get to keep my wheels. <laughs> oh, by myself. So, if you know what I'm saying, guys, I am just, I, we have all been there. We just don't know what the right move is to make. Like, do you get your dream car? You give up your dream car you built to get the dream car you always wanted? Pfft, I don't know. I'm such an idiot. So I uh, forgot to put my foot on the clutch for like a couple months. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Run! Well, hello there. No, seriously guys, what should I do? Here we go, we got two choices. I'm gonna take a poll, comment below, should I trade the S14? This is gonna be your choice. I don't know what to do.
comment below if you should think I should keep the S14 or trade. I don't know what to say. Or a hundred likes <laughs> if you think I should do it and comment below. Let me know should I freaking trade for this car. It's a good car. It just needs a little loving. It needs the old the flex style. It just needs my my touches. And it used to be like half of it used to be mine. I'm gonna do it. I'm just kidding. Comment below. Until next time. <laughs> Alright, bro. I love you guys. Holla at your boy time. Happy freaking something. I don't know what day it is. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I think today's Wednesday. Holla at your boy. I love you guys. I realized that I really never explained what happened. So, my S13 starts without the clutch in. I don't need to put the clutch in for it to start because it was automatic. I think, I really doubt it, but apparently I changed relay, changed the fuse, rewired everything, and it didn't start after that, all that. But I can't remember if the very first time I tried that I had my foot on the clutch. But yesterday, it was more so the issue was me not having my foot down on the clutch. So I was so used, I was driving my S13 for so long. So, could have been my fault, but I'm not sure. That one, yeah. What? You see it? You like the new chair? Shops coming along. Yeah. Oh. There you go. What's it for? It's for tattoos. Can you put these up? Can you put these things up? Official. Shop's almost done. But, um, yeah. I'll resume back to the video, but I'd never explained that. Um, that should have been the fix. I'm not sure, honestly. Alright, here we go. But back to where we left off. And I kind of made my decision what I want to do. But um, let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. Don't mind my craziness the past couple days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>